own today. We're having our ribbon cutting ceremony in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Uh, we have a lot of ambassadors here. Um, some of the clients from J Jackson is here. A lot of friends and family and um, just general people from the Vicksburg community. And we're gonna make them feel like they're important to us and they're important to God. And, and the first thing, our first focus here is God. That's the first thing I need to tell you. We are a Christian facility. I feel like um, God sent me here, that he gave me the vision to start this business to help people. And so we come here, um, educators here, to help and to show compassion to those who are in need. Um, it's not just um, a business to me, it's more of a ministry to me. We want to make sure that um, when they come here um, to the adult daycare center, that they get quality care, um, that we're compassionate toward them, and that they feel at home and that they feel welcome, and most importantly, that they can really um, praise God here and talk about God and they have freedom here. We're here to assist the elderly and the disabled. Uh, we offer a variety of programs. We offer computer classes, arts and craft classes. Uh, we go on field trips. We do life learn skills, um, crocheting classes. Just whatever we feel will keep their life with more fertility or vibrant or, you know, just give them a better life in their latter days. When they come here, I want it to feel like a home, a beautiful home. So I need an atmosphere to make them feel like a beautiful home. I want when they come here for them to feel free and they love to come here and they can relax and do the things to make them happy and then they can go home. When they hear, they, I want them to know that we're going to take care of them. Whatever it might be, we, you know, we assist with ADLs here too. You know, if one come in and they have an accident, we can take care of them. You know, whatever they might need, um, we also take care of their dietitian needs, you know, while they're here. Um, we try to have fun when we're here, um, try to be a family when we're here. We are a family here. We talk to each other, we laugh with each other, we cry with each other, you know. It's just a home away from home is it, it, what God gave me, and that's what I'm giving them. Director of the Vicksburg Warren County Chamber of Commerce, and we're out on this fall, this beautiful day with a lot of wonderful feeling in the air. And right here, I'm on Wisconsin Avenue at Educare Senior Day Center and Personal Care Services, and with the uh, owner and administrator of, of that, Angela Courtney. There you go, Angela. And we're just so happy that look how, look how many chambers we have out here today to welcome you into the Chamber of Commerce and to welcome your new business to Vicksburg. Now I understand you've been here since the spring uh, so we're very happy to have you and we have quite a few elected officials here with us today and we have the Honorable Mayor George Flags, the Mayor of Vicksburg, Mississippi and with him is Alderman Michael Mayfield of the North Ward. We also have the President of the Board of Supervisors, Richard George of the 5th District, and we have Charles uh, Selman of the 3rd District here uh, on the Board of Supervisors. So I don't think I've missed anybody, have I? With our elected officials, we have Chamber Ambassadors. Raise your hand if you're a Chamber Ambassador. Great. And then we have all these Chamber members. So we're very happy to have you here, and I'd like to call the Mayor at this time to uh, have a few words of welcome. Good morning. Good it's my honor and pleasure to welcome you here to Educare uh, Assistant Living Program, home away from home, Angela tells me. Uh, when Angela first visited me uh, in my office and told me she was uh, contemplating coming to this location and to have this type of facility, uh, I shared with her that what I believe that in the city of Vicksburg, uh, or for any city, the best way to measure the growth and development of a city is to look how they educate our children, prepare them for their future, and how they assist our elders, uh, like seniors and the disabilities that they uh, 
that, that she assisted here. And I, I welcomed her and I told her this was an opportunity that we need. And can you imagine now uh, in this community where uh, you have these assisted living program where you actually can uh, have a loved one that is uh, disabled or a senior citizen uh, that you care for yourself, but you need to go to the grocery store or you need to go to the mall. Uh, they not only, you can not only drop them off here, but they'll take care of you, uh, but they'll come pick those uh, loved ones up. And then when they come here, they get the educational opportunity. Did you see the computer room? And did you see the art and craft room and what they'll have? Uh, what better way? Now, Charles Seven made fun of me. He said he'll come here next and visit me here. Well, I want to be here. Uh, if, if, in fact, my, my family can afford to bring me here in the future, bring me here. So if you see, uh, because this is, this is living. This is taking care of the elder. This is what a community is all about. This is what a city is all about. So on behalf of the mayor board of Autumn with the city of Vicksburg, Autumn and Mayfield and the North Ward, Autumn and Willis, Willis Thompson, the South Ward, Ward, we welcome you, Angela, on this yeah, side. Two, Angela. Uh, we welcome you here and we thank you. And we, uh, more importantly, we, we, we thank you for sharing your vision with us uh, in the city of Vicksburg. And any expansion that you want uh, to go from here, we're here to assist you in the city of Vicksburg. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to call on the president of the Board of Supervisors, Richard George, to bring some greetings from the county. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Jay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's a pleasure on behalf of the Warren County Board of Supervisors to participate in this ceremony. We did Mr. Charles Selman, the third district. Miss Angela, our duty, we're very glad to fulfill it. Welcome you to Vicksburg and Warren County. Uh, a tremendous, tremendous asset for our community to have a caring facility for our elderly and disabled. Those people who have served us over many, many years and now need help themselves, and you have the wide array of services to address their needs as they live their latter days of their lives in the comfort and security and uh, occupied, not felt, left out of useless. Uh, that, that's a very, very important thing for personal dignity your interest in our community and willingness to serve and take care of the people who took care of us right. and brought us along is very, very important. As George reflected, the heart and soul of the community is reflected by the way it takes care of the people who served in, in the future, in the uh, days of when they were active and performing daily. Uh, and in honor to them, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Richard. You know, the mission of the Chamber of Co uh, Commerce is to improve the quality of life and to promote our members. So we welcome you to the Chamber of Commerce. And you come on up here now and get by the ribbon. We, we welcome you to the Chamber of Commerce. We appreciate your membership. That's how we afford to keep our business going. And uh, at this time, I'd like to call on you to kind of just tell us a little bit more about your business. I know one of the emails you sent, uh, you said be sure and say that this is a Christian daycare. It's not daycare. This is a Christian and Senior Day Center. That's right. And if people cannot get to the center, then that you have a way with the personal care service to go to their homes and help take care of. That's right. You have field trips. I noticed you had some vans coming in this morning That's bringing right. people in that needed transportation. Those are all real important things, like the mayor said and like Richard George said, to help improve the quality of life in this community for all people. So we thank you. And at this time, if you'd like to tell us a little bit more about your business, if you want to introduce your staff, <coughs> members, and that type of thing, tell them the uh, hours of operation. Thanks, everybody. First, I want to thank everybody for coming out today, and we just mm -hmm. thank God for just coming to the River City. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that I love about Vicksburg is the hospitality that they have here. Um, first of all, I want to introduce my staff. Uh, we actually have two locations. We have one in um, Jackson, we have one here, and then we're about to open up one in McGee, Mississippi. So first, um, Lakeisha. Lakeisha's our head CNA. She teaches the, um, she does the uh, devotion sometimes. She does the arts and crafts sometimes. And Lakeisha just fills in. She has a wonderful personality. Is Deborah out here? Yeah. Next we have, come on, Miss Deborah. Okay. Miss Deborah Gardner, she's a CNA as well. She can also do the cooking here, and we're like a family here. We start the day off every day with devotion, and from devotion, we go to our arts and craft. From that, 
um, we might go to the sewing class, a crocheting class, or whatever. We on Fridays is our like our fun day. What we try to do here is um, make us a, a family that when they come here, it's more like a home to them, and that's why we have to de have a facility decorated like a home because we want to show them that we love them when they come here. And when they come here, we want the families to trust that we're going to take care of them and we're going to keep them vital in their old age. And we're going to make them feel like they're important to us and they're important to God. And, and the first thing, our first focus here is God. That's the first thing I need to tell you. We are a Christian yeah. facility. It's actually two entities here. It's the adult daycare side of it where we go kick pick them up, we service um, the elderly, and we also service the, the disabilities, the ones with disabilities. We bring them in, uh, we give them uh, breakfast, and then from breakfast we do go into our devotion, our AM um, activity, and after that um, we serve them lunch. And then we go into the PM activity and the games, um, and then we take them home. We try to incorporate wellness into our um, activities. We have a partnership that with Alcorn State University. They come in once or twice a month and go over um, wellness classes. We also have uh, speakers that come in. We focus on teaching them life learning skills when they come here, like computer classes, things that they can do. And they can reach out to others and just enjoy their life. Um, the other side that we have is the personal care side. With the personal care side, we actually send a CNA out to their homes. We help them with the ADLs. We, we run errands for them. We help them with housekeeping. We cook for them. I'm just a variety of things. But the purpose of both companies is to show compassion to those who, who are in need. And with that, that's all I have. I thank you all for welcoming me out. I'm just so glad to see everybody face here. Okay. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to present you with the certificate, too, and then we'll have the ribbon cutting. Okay. Uh, congratulations and best wishes. Thank you for your continued investment in the future of Vicksburg and Warren County. We appreciate your commitment to the community. Uh, congratulations and best wishes for many more years of success. Uh, Educare Senior Day Center on the occasion of your ribbon cutting celebration, September the 27th, 2016, in the home we love, Vicksburg, Mississippi. All right. Amen. And we'll have our ribbon cutting now. We have the scissors. Okay. Okay. All right. And everybody kind of knows we start off with five and then have a countdown. So, okay. Andrew, you might be kind of new with this, but this group that comes out and supports our community, they really have it down pat. Okay. And so then we ask them afterwards if they'll pin their, give us their business card so we can pin the uh, cards on the ribbon for you to have to keep to know who's here today. So if we'll go five, four, three,